Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the middleweight bout between Joe Pfeiffer versus Mark Andre Baralt or Barialt. And how do I feel about this one right here? I'm going average confidence Joe Pfeiffer to beat Mark Andre Baralt or Barialt. I'm going to say Baralt. We're going to stick with Baralt. He could come here, come and say, that's not how you say my name. And I'm like, no disrespect. I'll correct it um, for you or for me. But anyway. But as far as I'm going to say for right now, and how I've probably been saying for about 20 videos, it's Mark andre Barat. But um, yeah, average confidence, Joe Piper to beat Mark andre Barat. I feel like in the last fight, Piper got a, a lesson and he got a butt whooping. You know, he did good to start, but faded against a strong veteran, Jack Hermanson, good, well-rounded veteran, and Jack Hermanson, who was able to stand him and then school him. But going with Mark andre Barat, I think um, Joe Piper will have learned from that fight. He'll make adjustments and I he'll be able to beat him. And even like, the same fighter that was before the um, Hermanson fight went in there without the lessons, him and Fort Mark Andre Barat, I still think he'll be good. So, And I'm going to lean. I'm going to predict off what I have seen. I will hope to see better so I can catch in more on Pfeiffer because if he gets better, if he gets better and he gets good matchups, he'll win more and he'll be a great person to battle. But um, So, uh, yeah, I would love for him to get better and lock in more. But I'm going to go based on what I've seen. And, yeah, this one... Now, Hermanson, like Hermanson is a solid wrestler, solid grappler, one of the best grapplers in the weight class currently, one of the best wrestlers in the weight class currently. So there was more of that wrestling element, whereas um, where it also obviously much more accomplished middleweight than um, Barat too. But um, yeah, on Barat's side, he doesn't really have the best wrestling. I feel like he has scored like one or two takedowns in like ten fights or ten plus fights, and it's like he has given up a lot of takedowns, but he did give up like eight takedowns to Hernandez. And he gave up like four takedowns to the Iron Turtle. And he gave up takedowns, a couple of scattered takedowns. He gave up two takedowns to the um, Beverly Hills Ninja. I forget the dude's name. Who's that? That was a that was a, I think that was what led me to go so hard on Hernandez against him. Like you let the Beverly Beverly Hills Ninja, who's a karate guy, take you down two times in like two minutes. Yeah, you about to get cooked. But um, yeah. So yeah, his takedown defense isn't the best. You know, when people have one had the skills to take him down, one take him down, they have taken him down multiple times. So I think. If Piper needs to take him down, he'll be able to take him down and ground on the ugly decision. But, um, it wasn't ugly. It wouldn't even be ugly. He could ground him a pretty decision over him. But, um, um, I think it'd be a first round knockout for Piper. I think Baral has been susceptible to getting starts in the first round. I think Piper will be able to start from that first round. Pi I mean, Baral's typically a guy that needs to rally. Well, not needs to, but he's typically a guy that gets stronger as the fight goes on and he starts to find his finishes later, typically. Like, he's a more volume guy. Which could be scary, but the fact that he doesn't have the wrestling defense. I feel like if Piper does feel like he's like the striking not going the way he wants to, or he's starting to fade, or the power shots he don't would knock him out, then knock him out. He can't go to the wrestling. I'm not saying he can go there like, oh, this is give me. I'm not trained for it. Train hard to wrestle. Like, train hard for your plan B if you need it. But yeah, don't just expect, like, oh, I'm going to be taken down because some guys go out there and see a guy that gets taken down by everybody or with bad takedown defense, and they just expect it like, to get it. They go for the most basic, predictable takedown when they're tired. And they start getting stuffed and picked apart and finished. So, go out there, train to do all the types of takedowns. Single legs, double legs, body locks, train for it all. Inside trips, judo throw, <laughs> train for it all. You know, and train uh, well. So, if you do need to go to that plan B, you could do it well. Not just like, hope that it's just there. Expect that it's just going to be easy. But, I think he knocks him out the first round. But, Raw is, again, Raw is typically a guy that's pretty hittable in the first round. Has been stars in the first round. And Piper does got big power. A big young guy with good power and good striking. Or at least good passive striking, though. He's got good power and strikes that he does know. And I think he'll be able to put Baralt out in the first round via TKO. So, in this one, I got Joe Piper via first round TKO. 